Sometimes, mistakes happen and you might accidentally reset your game file. To recover your file, simply reset your Nintendo 64. Keep in mind that if you enter any file after deleting a save, that save is lost forever. In certain places that require using Banjo's foot flap to reach high areas, the Ratatat Rat can be used instead to climb over a ledge if high enough. The Ratatat Rat can also be used to extend the distance of your jump. Make sure you use the Ratatat Rat attack to help navigate yourself around dangerous terrain and falling. Because of awkward camera angles, it can be hard to shoot eggs accurately at times. But by holding Z and R, you can hold the camera behind you, making it notably easier to aim eggs. It still takes some practice though. You can use this trick anywhere that requires precise egg shots, such as opening the labyrinth in Gobi's Valley, or the final Gruntilda fight. If you're still having trouble, try experimenting with the camera zoom angle. When aiming Big Bomb, Banjo will shoot towards the center of the screen, as noted by the green X. This angle will change slightly when moving up or down. Quickly using feathers before beak bombing will greatly increase the height gain while flying. The more feathers used before beak bombing, the higher you will go. Every jiggy Banjo collects forces him into a dance animation or a Jiggy Jig. Each Jiggy Jig will take about 4 seconds to finish. On every 10th Jiggy found in each level, this Jig will be extended by about another 4 seconds. The Jiggy Jig's duration can be reduced by grabbing a spawn Jiggy cued from text. Notice the difference in timing from this first scene and the second scene. Both Jiggy Jigs can be skipped entirely in a number of ways, including flying into it, swimming into it, grabbing it as a transformed critter, while wearing the waiting boots, and while wearing the turbo trainers. To quick dive, run off a ledge and let go of all buttons while sliding in Talon Trot. You'll continue to sink while Kazooie goes back into her backpack or until you hit the ground. You can enter swim at any time afterwards just by pressing B. You can practice this trick using Gobi's Valley's moat. Specifically in this area, a well-performed quick dive should cause you to get hurt. Banjo can only last about a second on an unscalable slope before he slides down. The timer starts once Banjo's shadow is on the slope, rather than Banjo himself. 
The same concept carries over to unscalable slopes with Kazooie as well. This timer can be artificially extended with the bear punch, the roll attack, jumping, stomping, and high jumping. This also applies to Talon Trot. This timer can also be reset if Banjo's shadow leaves the slope and reaches flat terrain. Notice how Banjo doesn't slide from this slope. This technique can be used as an alternate method to Talon Trot if given enough mobility. It can also be used to scale slopes not normally possible with Talon Trot as well. Both being able to reset this timer and extend it allows for the ability to reach very high areas that may not normally be accessible. Try experimenting with it sometime, you'll be surprised what you might find.